do a copycat recipe of the cherry mash. And then I'm going to make some cherry chocolates. So it's gonna be fun. Stick around. my kitchen instead of that side. You rarely, if I don't know if I've even ever shown you, have this beautiful sideboard and I thought that would be perfect for today's video. So <laughs> that's why everything's all topsy-turvy and backwards. I'm going to make today, we're going to have, it's not really baking with Kelly, it's more of a candy making with Kelly because Valentine's Day is just around the corner. We're going to do cherry mash candies and then some cherry chocolates. Now cherry mash, what's really cool about it, it has a Kansas City connection up in St. Joseph, Missouri. St. Joe, St. Joseph. It's about an hour from Kansas City, about an hour and some odd minutes from here. They have the Chase Candy Company. They make more than just cherry mash. These little guys, cherry mash, they're delicious. Oh my word. If you like cherry and you like peanuts, mm. has this cherry nougat in the middle and a crunchy, chocolatey, peanut buttery top. And it's just, mm. <laughs> so good. So it's this old fashioned candy company. And I think it has changed hands. But St. Joseph is important because that's where the Pony Express comes from. If you're familiar with the Pony Express from the 1800s when I was a kid. Oh, about 10, maybe 11 years old. There's a TV show called The Young Writers. And Karen reminded me, which is humiliating. It's so embarrassing. The guy that played Wild Bill, I had such a crush on. Come to find out that Stephen Baldwin, oh my word, <laughs> of all the people. Cause I know, I do remember my childhood crush being um, John Stamos. Now, hey, <laughs> there you go. But Stephen Baldwin? Oh well, I was 10 years old. Don't confuse this candy with Martha Washington's candy. It's actually a candy company, not, not George Washington's wife. It's a candy company named after Martha Washington. It has a cherry, it's somewhat similar. It has cherry and coconut and maybe pecans. It's not the same, it's not the same candy. Uh, let's do the cherry mash candy. Oh, it's gonna be good. Okay, so I've got those, got these. Just about finished. There we go. <laughs> Just set our little candy thing aside here. So I'm going to make these cherry mash candies, and then I'm going to make some cherry chocolates, and then, just to top it off, I'm going to make a homemade uh, candy box to store to store these in because hey, why not? It should be fun. Now I will add my butter. It takes three fourths of a cup of butter. It takes some powdered sugar and you beat it until it is sticking together and it's gonna look clumpy is the, the instruction. So we need some clumpy powdered sugar. <laughs> let's, let's make it. Move this backwards. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, so my butter. Oh, I'm not. Okay, one and three fourths cup of powdered sugar. Let's try not to get this everywhere. I need scissors. Everything's backwards. I don't think I can do this today. <laughs> Let me find my scissors. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I found some scissors. <laughs> and one and uh, three fourths cup of powdered sugar.
worse. And I did manage. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting. I did manage to get it all over my arm. <laughs> of course I did. All right, let's make our lumpy powdered sugar. I got my clumpy powdered sugar. It takes a third of a cup of chopped up cherries. So St. Joseph is the home of where it all began, the Pony Express. I would love to be able to take you guys up to the Pony, Press, Pony Express uh, Museum they have up there. Pretty cool. I mean, of course, the whole reason they started the Pony Express was so that they could get their Valentines out west, right? <laughs> I highly doubt that, but it's a good story. third of a cup. Perfect. Okay, so now I just mix this well. Well, that's all backwards. Okay. <laughs> and then it takes a tablespoon of the cherry juice. Mix it in really well. Well, I apparently did not get my uh, cherries patted dry enough <laughs> because I didn't do that step and it is a runny texture, and you want a very thick uh, texture. So you just add more powdered sugar if that happens. Follow the instructions. <laughs> don't, don't do it like me. <laughs> now that we have a nice thick cherry frosting-like mixture, I take and scoop these uh, by tablespoon onto a lined cookie sheet and then freeze them. All right, so while the uh, cherry cream mixture is freezing, I'm going to take a rolling pin and some cocktail peanuts and I'm gonna crush those all up. I need a heaping half of a cup of that and then I also need to melt my almond bark. I need six uh, squares of my almond bark and I need two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm gonna mix that all together and uh, put um, a little bit of that mixture in the bottom of each one of these little candy muffin things. <laughs> Getting my muscles working out. <laughs> I would call that a nice heaping half of a cup of peanuts. Crushed peanuts. All right, I have my melted almond bark. I add my crushed peanuts and two tablespoons of peanut butter. Boy, I love chocolate and peanut butter together. All right, so let's just get this all mixed up. <laughs> the tricky part. <laughs> let's see if I can get this mixture into these little candy papers without making an enormous mess. <laughs> okay, so I've dropped just enough into each liner just to coat it. Well, <laughs> so far so good. <laughs> Here, let me show you what I've got. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was bound to happen. <laughs> I had done so well up till then. And the amount of concentration <laughs> This is taking is ridiculous. A chocolatier, I'm not. <laughs> All right, there's another messy one. I'm getting sloppy. The longer I go, the sloppier I'm getting. Come on, pull it together, Kelly. Here we go. Now I set this aside and um, I need to wait for my cherry cream stuff to get frozen, so I'm just gonna set this aside and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I'm back. My uh, little cherry dots here are all frozen. I'm gonna take my cherry drops and break them in half and I put them on top of this little chocolate mixture I have and then I put more chocolate on top. OK, 
Okay, so that is the end of the cherry mash. Let's do the cherry chocolates now. So the reason I chose to do two different chocolates is because I wasn't sure if Nancy would be able to eat the cherry mash. I wasn't sure if it would be soft enough for her to chew, but I do know that she can eat chew a cherry chocolate. So I'm gonna make those for her now. For the cherry chocolates, take 60 of these and drain them on a paper towel. Okay, so while my cherries are over there getting all drip dried, I'm going to mix together my butter, sugar, and corn syrup. It takes three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of corn syrup, two cups of uh, powdered sugar, and we're good to go. So here we go. Three tablespoons of butter, two cups of powdered sugar, and three tablespoons of corn syrup. So I'll mix that up until it's a nice stiff dough. So now I'm over here at the sideboard buffet. I call it the coffee bar, whatever it's called. With the marble top, I'm going to take my dough, which is right here. So I'm gonna take this really sticky dough and I'm gonna wrap my, uh, my cherries in it. Okay, there they are. Okay, so now I am just going to melt the um, chocolate wafers and I'm just gonna dump the chocolate in these little cups. Seems like the easier, easier way. I'm gonna go the lazy way. <laughs> I have my burning hot chocolate and I'm going to start putting it inside these little uh, cherry chocolate cups. There we go. Our cherry chocolates and our cherry mashes. Okay, so we're all finished making the candy. Now let's go make, well, <laughs> truth be told, it's gonna be tomorrow. Let's go make the candy box. <laughs> See you tomorrow. It's the next day and I am going to attempt to make a candy box out of a shoe box and some fabric, pretty fabric, very girly fabric, um, <laughs> Valentine's fabric. Now, uh, if you're giving this to your sweetheart, um, <laughs> mine, <laughs> He's kind of non-existent at the moment, but if it were a guy, I'm sure I would have um, picked a little more masculine fabric than this super sweet, <laughs> very, very girly stuff. This really isn't a tutorial because I've never done it before. I'm just going to attempt it and let's see how it turns out and if it's cute. All right, let's go. So I'm just cutting my uh, shoe box now because I don't need it to be so big. There we go. It is much uh, skinnier now. And these I need to staple back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why yes. I did <laughs> just <laughs> staple my desk. Oh my word, what a dork. And I can't promise you that this won't turn out like um, my 11 or 12 year old self did a craft. So <laughs> let's, uh, uh, I'll show you what I got instead of having my beautiful <laughs> antique teacher's desk <laughs> having literal staples in it. Oh, Kelly. So, I got myself, I got myself, uh, it's an old uh, bowling alley floor. Now that should work. It should not go into that at all. It's a composite. It should work. <laughs> Let's try this out. Uh. Yeah, it works. All right. These are the ones that I've chosen. I really like this blue. I really like this pink. And then the hearts, they're gonna go on the inside. Okay, 
And here is uh, the top of my box. Plan. Plan. <laughs> Mod Podging. This inside. It's kind of pretty. outside of my box. <laughs> so far, so far so good. I'm liking it. Nothing wrong with that. what my candy box will look like. Isn't that cute? So far this is looking so much cuter than I thought. <laughs> there for a second I thought oh no it's going to look like, <laughs> well it still might, but I thought oh no it's gonna look like something I made when I was a 12 year old. So I totally changed my mind and I'm not going to use Mod Podge. I am going to just use the staple gun. It's looking really cute and Oh, I do have, I do have the ribbon to hide my, uh, in, you know, not just hide, but to protect your fingers from the staples. So I think it's going to be really cute. I'm liking it a lot so far. Here is the top. I did run out of uh, gingham ribbon, so it's not completely finished, but we're gonna call it finished. <laughs> it's my cherry chocolate box. So cute. Let's take this upstairs and put the chocolates in. I think Nancy's gonna be excited. What do you think of these chocolates? They taste yummy. Some is hard and some is nice too. She, just like I said, she wasn't going to be able to chew the ones with the peanuts in it. But now, guess what we're going to do? We're going to chill out and we're going to watch some Doris Day movies and maybe eat a chocolate or two. I found this. I found this on sale for like seven bucks. It has so many of the movies. It's going to be so fun. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We're gonna go watch some movies. <laughs> Bye. The pajama gang is the game I'm in, and I'm proud to be in the pajama gang.